Uh, when was it? A week ago or so, we did a story about um, uh, Elon Musk being uh, really ticked off at Apple, uh, about accusing of Apple of threatening to uh, withdraw uh, the Twitter app from the App Store, about uh, saying that Apple has uh, withdrawn all its advertising from Twitter, uh, and then uh, Musk using that opportunity to go to attack Apple about the 30% uh, uh, take that Apple uh, the 30% fee that Apple charges on any transactions that happen on the app that would uh, would affect um, that would affect any any kind of like the the blue check mark that sold 30% of that eight dollar fee to get the check mark would go to um, would go to uh, to Apple and uh, and Elon Musk was complaining about that and calling it a tax and and so on and he was generally not in a good mood when it came to talking to Apple. Well, after that all blew up uh, in the in the papers, about two days later or three days later, uh, Elon Musk, I guess, got an invitation from Tim Cook and uh, had a meeting with Tim Cook at the Apple headquarters in um, in uh, I guess is it still in Cupertino? I'm not uh, I'm not sure where it is, but it's 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 in uh, Silicon Valley, so in the San Jose area. Uh, so uh, 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 Tim Cook and, and uh, Elon Musk had a meeting. It would have been fun to have gotten a transcript of that meeting, or to be a, a, to have a little bug in there and be, and be able to tell you exactly what was said. Uh, my guess is that you know they they uh, Tim Cook told Elon Musk to stop it, <laughs> stop being a little baby. Um, maybe maybe that's what happened. I mean Tim Cook is clearly the adult in that room, but. Um, you know the um, the the consequence of that is that uh, that day um, Elon Musk came out and said uh, no no I, I made a mistake basically he didn't say I made a mistake but he implied I made a mistake Apple Apple has just clarified that they never really threatened to take the app to take the app off of uh, off of the the App Store and um, and uh, we, we we talked about our moderating standards or whatever. And then today, I guess this morning, or was it yesterday, uh, December 5th, 7.15 a.m., so it's this morning, um, Musk said uh, that Apple has fully resumed advertising on Twitter. Indeed, right now, uh, Apple is, uh, is uh, the, uh, the biggest advertiser on Twitter. Uh, Musk said that when he met Tim, quote, we resolved the misunderstanding about Twitter potentially being removed from the App Store. Tim was clear that Apple never considered doing so. And then, um, and then now Apple is the largest advertiser on Twitter. It turns out that others are also coming back and advertising on Twitter. Uh, Amazon is planning to start advertising on Twitter again. So uh, Musk has obviously reassured people about uh, whatever fears that they have about, uh, that they had about moderating policy and um, uh, and uh, I, I, I think they're all straight. I doubt Musk said Tim Cook straight, but anyway. Um, and of course, Musk has stopped complaining about the 30% fee that Apple takes. Uh, and uh, and uh, there's a, I guess for now, there is a, um, you know, there is a, uh, a, a ceasefire at the very least between Apple and Twitter. We'll see, <clears throat> we'll see where that goes. Um, Twitter is actively, and you could argue somewhat desperately, trying to win back uh, their advertisers. Uh, it, 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 it's a real challenge, I think, and, and really important for Twitter. Twitter, I don't think, could survive for many months unless it gets these advertisers back. Uh, in spite of uh, Elon Musk's interest in gaining, getting, getting on a subscription basis, he needs time in order to build that out. And, um, uh, you know, given the amount of debt that he has, given interest payments on that debt, given how much money Twitter is losing every single day, he has to get the advertisers back. And that's why I think uh, that the, the, in the power struggle between Elon Musk and Apple, clearly Apple has the upper hand. Uh, Elon Musk needs Tim Cook much more than Tim Cook needs Elon Musk. Uh, it's not even close. Um, I think the fact that uh, Musk removed uh, Kanye um, uh, over the weekend from Twitter probably helps with advertisers. Uh, I, I think he is showing that while there is no objective standard out there for 
uh, determining who stays and who's not. His subjective standard is in the long run maybe not going to be dramatically different than a, a, a lot of the... It's not going to it's not going to allow for the kind of worst case scenario that I think a lot of advertisers are worried about. So, um, I hope Twitter survives. I hope Elon Musk is a huge success, and um, and as a consequence, uh, I hope that uh, the advertisers do return to Twitter, uh, and uh, the Twitter figures out the right balance between wanting to allow as much speech as possible in a platform and having some standards. Uh, having some standards that uh, that you know w would justify advertisers advertising on the platform because you're taking a risk as an advertiser because you 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 want to be careful not to be associated with certain types of uh, of speech. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.